Hello, in this video I will talk about merging different data frames using SQL style uh, joins or merges. Okay, SQL is the structured query language, which is, which is a widely used um, yeah, language for querying databases. Um, is used for relational databases, uh, which are basically just tables, um, just like pandas data frames. And um, yeah, pandas implements um, a function called merge which allows you to do these uh, to these joins on different on yeah on two different uh, data frames or tables all right and there are four different joins i want to cover um there are the inner join the left outer join the right outer join and the outer join and uh, for that we always need two different tables so in this figure here they're called l and r and then the different types of the join um yeah, work on different work in different ways of uh, preserving the data of one or the other or both of the original tables. Okay, um, yeah. So for these joins, we always need a certain column, which is called the key column, um, on which we can join. And these joins will look at the values of this key, and in this case, it will be C. So the column here is called C, which is um, inside both the L and the R um, table here. And uh, it will look at the values here and match them such that the rows with matching uh, values in the C column will be like a new row in the result. Okay, and here um, note that in the L column we have a C1 and a C2, and in the R uh, table we have C1 and C3. So here are the first where C's match, the second ones don't. So the first row, um, yeah completely matches because we have the same C value, but the second rows uh, in L and R are different because they have different C values. Okay, so the first join, uh, the inner join, will just take uh, the intersection of the values in the column C and then only use those rows and just basically uh, concatenate the columns um, based on this value in C. And here the intersection of these values is just C1 and therefore we only have one row in the resulting data frame here, uh, which has C1 and then uses the um, values in the columns A and B from L and uses the values in D and E from the R table. Okay, then the next one is the left outer join. And this works uh, in a way that it uses all the values in L. And this is why it's called left outer join. It will use the left uh, it will prefer the left table over the right one. And this will use all the values in L and then also uh, add those in R, which match, which have like a matching C in L, if that makes sense. So here in the first row, we have, um, yeah, the C1, which occurs in L and R. And therefore we also have the D1 and the E1 uh, from our R table. But then for um, the second row in our result table here, we have missing values in D and E. And this is because C1, uh, C2 here is not present in R, and therefore it will not take any values uh, from R to uh, add them to this row. Okay, and yeah, the, the remaining um, rows in R are dropped, and uh, it will only use the, um, the keys that are also in L. Okay, the right outer join is pretty much analogously to the left outer join, but in this case it will uh, use all the keys from the R, um, from the right uh, table, and drop the rows from the left table, which have a key that is not in R. So here you can see um, we have two rows with C1 and C3, and these are the keys that are present in, in R here. Okay. And then the outer join basically combines um, these two methods. It will use all the um, all the keys that are present in L and in R. So to basically do the union of the keys, and then use um, yeah the values in A, B, and D and E, wherever the the two values matches, uh, where the C value matches, and if it doesn't match, it will just um, yeah add missing values wherever um, there is a C that is only in one of the two data frames. Okay, 
So let's do that in pandas. Um, for that, we first need data frames. Um, and I have prepared two example ones here. First one is called df1, and it has these three columns, a, b, and c. And um, yeah, it has just some arbitrary values in there. Then we have a second data frame, it's called df2, and it has the columns c, d, and e. And you can already see that the matching um, key column here is called c. So we'll do the, uh, the joins on C. And then in the end, we want to have a data frame with A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. And um, what you also can already notice is that um, there are some values in DF1 uh, in the column C, which do not occur in um, the DF2 column C, and the other way around as well. So we will have to drop some, um, some rows whenever we do something that is not uh, an outer join. Okay, but let's first start with an inner join. And for that, we have to call the merge function. Um, we can call this on df1 or df2. Um, for the inner join, this doesn't matter because it's uh, commutative. So in this case, we just call it on df, uh, df1 and we have to pass the other data frame that we want to merge on. And then we also have to specify how. So, and how um, will get one of four values. Um, the possible values are left, right, inner, and outer. And these correspond to these four um, yeah, methods of joining. Okay, but for the inner join, the how parameter should be inner. And if we do this, it will join the two data frames on the C column and use the, uh, yeah, the values for C, which occur in both data frames. So here you can see, it used mouse and fish, and mouse is in DF1, and in df2, and fish is also in df1 and in df2. Okay, so this worked. Then uh, come to the left outer join. Um, as we already discussed, this will keep all the keys in uh, the first data frame. And since this is not commutative anymore, here it's important uh, on which data frame we call, we call this merge function. And um, yeah, we call it on df1. And this means that df1 will be considered the left data frame. And df2 uh, is the parameter, which will then be the right data frame. And we do a left outer join here. The, um, the way we specify this is by um, passing left to the how parameter. And if we do this, we can see we get um, yeah, four, column, uh, four rows here, which are, um, the columns, uh, which are the rows from the df1. And we have mouse, cat, dog, and fish which are exactly the uh, values in C in DF1 here. So we have mouse, cat, dog, and fish here as well. But um, as you can see here, we now have some missing values and pandas represents these missing values as NAN, which we already discussed earlier. And uh, yeah, these four values are those rows where um, the DF2 did not contain the uh, certain values that were in DF1 for the column C. So here it's cat and dog. And as you can see here, C does not contain cat and dog for um, DF2. Okay, the right outer join, um, analogously to, D, uh, to the left outer join, but now we use um, yeah, all, the, um, all the rows from our right data set, so from DF2 now. Um, I guess this um, makes sense since uh, we also called merge on df1 here and passed df2 as a parameter. It will still consider df1 as left and df2 as right. Okay, finally the outer join. And here now we have um, more columns um, since we use the union of all the values in C. And um, yeah, now we have NAN values on the right and on the left here. So yeah, this is um, how the outer join, outer join works as I told you before. And um, yeah, now just some uh, things you have to consider. Um, sometimes it might occur that you have multiple columns in the two data frames which have the same name. So um, for this to happen, we just rename the column D in DF2 to A. And then the result is um, yeah, just this data frame with the columns C, A and E. And now if we also have a look at DF1 again, we can now see that in these two data frames, uh, we now have two matching columns, which are A and C. 
Okay, so now if we call a merge, and in this case we just do an uh, inner join, it will tell us um, we get a warning that we're trying to merge um, an int and a float column. And um, this occurs because, as we can see here in DF1, um, the A column contains integers, and in the DF2, the A column contains floats. And now it's trying to merge um, on both columns C and A um, at the same time. But it encounters this uh, problem there's that one of them has floating values, the other one has integer values. Um, yeah, for that to go away, for this warning to go away, we have to, uh, yeah, turn one of these columns into, um, yeah, turn one, turn the DF1 A column into floats or turn the DF2 column uh, A into integers. So these are the two ways how we could get around that. Okay. But if you have um, multiple columns with the same name in your two data frames, but you only want to join on one of them, you can also do that by using the on parameter. And um, yeah, in on, you can specify on which column you want to join. In this case, we um, want to join on the C column and only on the C column. And um, additionally, we want to rename the other columns that also are the same in the two data sets, such that we don't confuse them in the resulting data set. And we can do that with the suffixes uh, parameter. And to that, we pass a tuple of two strings. And these two strings um, yeah, are just added to the column names of the left column and the right column, respectively. So here we want to rename um, the left column that was uh, a duplicate. So the column from the left data frame, um, that was a duplicate as um, its original name plus this underscore from df1 and we want to rename the column from the right data frame as um, its original name plus underscore from df2. Okay, so if we do this now, um, we only merged on the column C and we have renamed the um, A column from the two data frames to their respective names now. Okay, and now finally just um, um, yeah, to show you how you can uh, get around this warning I just um, changed the type of the uh, column A in data frame one and set it to float. And now they both have the same data type, so we don't get this warning anymore. And I explicit, explicitly told pandas to merge on A and C, um, which it's going to do by default, but by just explicitly telling it to do it on both columns. Um, yeah, I guess this is a little bit more readable um, to understand on which columns pandas will merge these two data frames. And also this can prevent some errors. Um, for example, if you um, yeah, don't have these columns in your data frames or in one of the data frames, if you specify them directly as a parameter here, it will throw an error if it didn't find that um, column in one of them. And um, yeah, if that didn't happen, so if you don't um, specify this parameter and just do an implicit join, then um, yeah, you might not notice that one column is missing in one data frame, for example.